For this Enterprise Engine Pro Tip, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of Zebra Technologies Stage Now tool. Let's get started. So to get us started, what is Stage Now? Stage Now is a tool Zebra Technology provides for its devices that allows you to do advanced settings and configurations via barcode or XML that you can push down through your MDM, such as SODI, Workspace ONE, or 42 Gears. For Stage Now, I find myself using a lot of common settings. Most uh, typical ones are gonna be network settings, device settings such as ADB, security, and or screen timeouts, enrolling devices into a specific uh, MDM, and then also for OS upgrades and or lifeguard patches. There's a couple prerequisites for Stage Now. The first, you have to have a Zebra Android device 4.4 or higher. Um, for Zebra, they typically have different versions of configurations and settings that'll be supported. I'll cover that here in a second. The second thing you need is a Windows machine. The Stage Now admin panel needs or admin tool needs a Windows machine to run on. It doesn't run on Mac or Linux. So if you have one of those devices, you need to have a virtual machine running Windows inside of it. The third thing you need is you need to go to Zebra's website and download their admin tool, which I just mentioned. That can be found by going to zebra.com and searching for Stage Now and you'll find the download link. Last thing is on your Zebra device, you need access to the Stage Now tool. I'll show that in a second when I do a quick demo. So let's get started in Stage Now. After you've installed the Stage Now tool, admin tool, on your Windows machine and you open it up, you're, you'll see something slightly like this. You'll see incomplete profiles and complete profiles. This is definitely a bunch of examples that I've done in the past. I'm going to come and show an example of creating a new profile. So for this profile, hit create new profile and it will load up a new screen. You will need to select the MX version for your device. So for different device versions, they have different capabilities for the configuration options. And this allows and drives those for your device. So I'm going to select 10.2. There are a number of things you can do within this. Um, I typically do expert mode and do individual single settings. So I'll click expert mode and click create. Enter a profile name. So for this one, I'm gonna disable Wi-Fi. One word of caution, Stage Now is not the fastest of tools. So please be patient with it as it's loading because on these screens as it's going through and setting configurations and pulling things up, it will not be quick. Once the add edit for my profile comes up, I'll go select the item I want to change. These items are all available from a documentation standpoint on Zebra's uh, doc site. So if you want to read more about them, you can go there. I'm going to go to Wi-Fi, add that to my configuration. And you'll see it, you know, over here in my config, I'll hit add. And it's going to pull in those settings so I can go configure various options of that. Once this comes up, you'll have to do your configurations. So you can see here, target OS is Android. I'm going to do disable Wi-Fi just to show you what this looks like. And there's a number of other settings you could do. I'm just gonna do this for demo purposes. I'll click continue. It'll ask me to review this. Like you can have encrypted or unencrypted barcodes. I think the benefit of encrypted is that if you have a sort of sensitive information like Wi-Fi settings, it won't be visible in there. Somebody tries to decrypt it. So I'm gonna leave that encrypted. And then for publishing, there's a couple different options. Export for JS. JS is the, the newer version that Zebra uses for Android 11 and above or MX 11 and above. Export for MDM or export for Stage Now. So if you wanted to send this to somebody else who has a Stage Now tool, you can do that. I typically do barcode, and if I want to test something, I'll select the barcode type. Note there is the PDF 417, which is the more dense barcode. For Android 11 and below, you can use this one. Android 11 or above 11, you need to use the JS PDF 417. So I'll go ahead and click on this guy, stage now, and I'll typically want to test this, so I'll hit test. And it will create a PDF of this barcode. So you can see this now. And I will go over to my Android device I have on my desk. And on this device, you'll need to go to the stage now tool. So which for the newer devices in a folder called uh, zconfigure. So I'll open this tool. Um, it's pretty easy to test these barcodes. So on this device, you can see the device has network Wi-Fi enabled. So I'm gonna go and within the barcode itself, I will scan this barcode on my screen. You'll see on the device if it was successful. That's so the device is successfully staged. And I'll hit exit. And let's look back at the device and you can see the Wi-Fi is now disabled on my device. If I wanted to do an opposite, I could do a state now barcode to re-enable it, or I could just go back to my settings on my device. 
and network and re-enable my Wi-Fi. So it is now re-enabled, but that is a good example of how to use stage home. So in closing, if you do anything complex with a Zebra device, from management or setup or admin standpoint, definitely take a look at the StageNow tool and test it out for configuring and customizing your devices.